Handy Mogul. Hey, Andy Mogulers, and welcome to a brand new year of Backyard Effects, brought to you on a brand new roof. That's right, I moved to beautiful Brooklyn, New York. And right now, it's sort of a blizzard. But that doesn't mean we're gonna stop taking your requests. And this week, we're showing you how to make freeze makeup. <laughs> since we've done a makeup episode, so I went to IndieMogul.com and the forums and found out a lot of you wanted to know how to make your actor look frozen. But before we get to the build, we need to have Gary, my co-host, spin the wheel to determine our budget. Some of you might not know, but every week there's a second special effects tutorial on IndieMogul.com. It's on our blog and is created by the very talented Wesley Scoggins. A while back, Wes tackled this very same project, so we're going to be adding on to his original plans. To get started, you will need some hair gel or hairspray, sea salt, spirit gum, white, blue, and black cream makeup, and some shaving cream. So much of the process of blogging is taking pre-existing pieces of media, like linking to something and then adding your idea on top of it. So I think a lot of stuff that happens in new media sort of comes out of that hip hop creative process. EPC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside. It's a bomb. You're watching Indie Mobile. Simple time now. Woo! Okay, so this is actually a pretty simple build. Always start any makeup job by washing your face thoroughly. Then if you have long hair like me, slick it back and use some gel to make it stick out. Next, apply a base layer of white liquid makeup. At this point, I applied some shaving cream to my eyebrows, hair, and stubble to replicate frost. The most important step is the salt, AKA our fake frost. Right out of the container, sea salt comes in big chunks, and most of them usually come with a built-in grinder on top for making smaller pieces. Take a bowl and mix up some large and fine salt crystals. When I did the first test of the makeup, I used spirit gum to stick the salty frost crystals to my face. But in hindsight, I think liquid latex would be better. I then used blue and black makeup to darken around the eyes, mouth, and ears. You may have to add an additional layer of white makeup to blend. Now you can use this same technique to make any other exposed body parts frosty. Okay, so I just got done um, cleaning off our test makeup and learned a very valuable lesson. It's really hard to get off. I don't know if it's some kind of combination of the spirit gum and the salt. Maybe I just put too much on. I think when I do the actual application on our actors, I'm gonna do a lot less. Regardless, even with spirit gum remover, it was just really, really hard to get off. I'm gonna do a test using liquid latex as the adhesive instead of uh, spirit gum. Then in a couple hours, I'm going to create this effect again on uh, two actors that aren't myself and uh, we'll make some changes, but this was definitely a good learning experience. And as you can see, once we got on set, I used a lighter application of makeup and liquid latex instead of spirit gum. Also, I ended up using only the finer ground salt. And to help apply it, I filled the lid of a makeup cup with that salt, then had Tanya dip her face in the cup to get a better crystal application. excited to see a new Justin Johnson directed test film. I know I am, but I want to know what you think by leaving a comment down below. Whoa! Also make sure and check out the other Indie Mogul shows, Beyond the Trailer, which comes out every Friday, and Best Short Films in the World, which comes out every Thursday. Because in 2009, Indie Mogul isn't just about backyard effects, it's a whole network, an online network for people who love and or make films. Woohoo! Happy New Year! 
instead of killing yourself using actual pills while making uh, one of your test films or actual films, just use Tic Tacs. It's much easier and they're completely edible and you won't die.